first night, a Fall River Marine is being remembered after his tragic and untimely death. Family and friends gathered in Fall River today to receive the body of 29-year-old Corporal Paul Fagundes. He died trying to rescue two other fellow Marines on the 4th of July in Cuba. Eyewitness News reporter Alex DePrado joins us now live with more details on our top local story. Fagundes is the father to a little boy. His wife is pregnant, and he died trying to save two other Marines from drowning. It is the return home that no family looks forward to, but this is how Marine Corporal Paul Fagundes came back to Fall River Sunday. He loved the Marine Corps. He loved what he was doing, and uh, I, he is a fallen hero. The 29-year-old died trying to save two other Marines from drowning at the Guantanamo Naval Base in Cuba. He lost his life of all days, July 4th. It was an accident, we understand that, but uh, he was trying to save one of his own, one of his own Marines. Among those receiving his body, his pregnant wife, sister, mother, and mother-in-law. They stood in silence as others wiped tears from their eyes. Oh, it much. As Fagundes was carried inside Roger's funeral home. Make no mistake about it, uh, he is a hero, and the city of Fall River will pay tribute to him. This is an all too familiar sight in this city. Fagundes is the third Fall River service member to lose his life in two months. It's important that we as a city come together, as in times past, to make sure that we show everything we can and give our support to this family. Even though Fagundes is gone, his family can take some comfort in knowing he died, living the Marine motto, Semper Fi, always faithful. A wake will be held tomorrow from 4 to 8 p.m. at Rogers Funeral Home in Fall River. A funeral will be held Tuesday at 10 a.m. at St. Anne's Church. Both are open to the public. I'm Alex DePrado, Eyewitness News.